Mitch here. I've not uploaded a video in quite some time, so I thought I'd give you an update on what I'm working on right now. And uh, well, this is going to be my new music album, ambient album. And uh, but this time I'm not going to release it on Spotify, or Apple Music, or on vinyl like my last uh, album. This is going to be a, an app for the iPhone and for the iPad. And uh, currently I'm also working on a Mac version and a PC version. And um, it's an interactive generative music album. So this is uh, producing a constant evolving stream of music. And I'm doing it, as you see, with the Unreal Engine, using a lot of meta sound stuff and uh, the chord subsystem and, um, and some visuals uh, that are reacting to the music with a little frequency analyzer. And uh, yeah, that's what it is. And um, quickly show you what it can do. So first of all, um, it's like a, a stream of music that uh, I, I like to call it the never-ending album because that's what it actually is. You could uh, let it play for hours and hours and it will not uh, be repeating itself. And um, so I don't know what we will listen to in the next uh, 10 minutes here, uh, but that's that's the thing that uh, really interests me, procedural uh, generative music. And the beauty of it is that you can actually um, deliver it to the listeners uh, in a way that uh, is working, because um, before it was very hard. You just had to, with generative music, you had to like record 30, 40 minutes uh, of your generative system and then uh, release it on vinyl or mp3 or, and uh, that is not what generative music is meant to be but if you can deliver it in the form of an app it's possible so everybody that listens to the music will listen to a different version of it and um, yeah so uh, let's see what we uh, what we got here so this is uh, one flavor if you wish uh, and you can interact with the music uh, with this XY pad here. So you've got a cursor that you can move around here and uh, depending on where you place it this, the music will slowly evolve into a different mood. Like uh, on the upper left corner it's going to be very very minimalistic and uh, reduced but not immediately. It will morph there in the course of well whatever the settings of this particular track are, but uh, in 30, 40, 50 seconds, it will reduce itself more and more, as you can hear now. And if you want to uh, have it a little bit more intense, you can move the cursor somewhere else. And basic rule, it's not written in stone, but a basic rule is if you move it down along the y-axis it gets more intense but uh, in an atmospheric kind of way and along the x-axis it gets more intense in, in where the rhythmical and bass elements are more pronounced but as I said not immediately it will it will evolve itself into that direction and you can choose any position you like to. so that's what you can do um, to fine-tune uh, what you're going to hear but still even on one fixed position on the XY pad it's always be uh, randomized and uh, there are many layers of, of complexity many, many layers that are um, working uh, together uh, so uh, so even on one particular XY position it's not going to be the same than ever before Then um, we've got the setup menu here, where you can choose between uh, eight different tracks if you wish. So right now we're listening to this track here, but I can uh, move it like um, uh, to this jazzy mood here. And you see there's a transition going on, the visuals are changing, the music is changing, the basic principle stays the same.
So again, we're in the upper left corner, so it's going to be very minimalistic. But let's give it some twist here. You see this lowly drums are coming in, and some melody parts, vocal parts. And there is also the possibility for randomizers. So what you can do is to set the XY position randomly every so often. So like here, every 50 seconds, you can choose the uh, timing here. And you can turn on that randomizer. And when I do that, um, the XY position will be randomized uh, every 55 seconds or whatever you choose. And uh, the other thing you can randomize is uh, the track selection. So uh, I can my my favorite second uh, setting is like uh, 55 seconds for the X Y positions, or a little bit longer, and six to seven minutes for the track randomize. But it really depends on in what kind of situation you're listening to uh, to the music. Sometimes it's best it's better when a track stays on a little bit longer, um, and sometimes. Um, it's good if it changes a little bit more often, but uh, that's why you can choose it here. And you also get a sleep timer here because it's uh, very good for for um, listening um, before you go to sleep. So you set it to like, I don't know, 30 minutes, start the sleep timer and the counting down will slowly, low, slowly fade, uh, fade out uh, over the course of time and then um, will we'll activate um, the screensaver and uh, set the iPhone uh, to sleep and so um, you don't have to worry about turning it off but we don't want that now and uh, up here this is first of all a BPM indicator and also a hidden pause and continue button The little full screen button is only for the PC and Mac version. Uh, this one will automatically hide uh, when um, the app detects that you're on an iOS device. Give it a little bit different flavor here. So it always comes up with new elements and combinations of the elements and how they are looped against each other, how they are combining, how the filters and effects and delays and whatever uh, will combine will never be the same. So I've been working pretty long on the on the basic system that uh, lies behind all that. And uh, the first place I wanted to do that for um, game soundtracks, for evolving procedural music in games uh, that also can interact with gameplay and that the works. I've got the whole system for that ready, but. Uh, it made me think, hey, now that's the perfect possibility for me to do what I always wanted to deliver, a generative, interactive uh, music album and um, that actually uh, works on the iPhone or on the, on the device of the listener. And uh, so I'm using it for that now. Let's switch over to a different mute. Like, this one's nice. And you see there's always a transition in terms of music, but also in terms of visuals. And uh, while there's a transition uh, going on, um, the XY pad is locked and it uh, will be unlocked once the new track is already uh, initialized, because otherwise it wouldn't make sense uh, to, um, to put the XY position for uh, two tracks at the same time.
So if you're interested in better testing this and uh, giving me some uh, feedback, uh, just write me a direct message. Uh, contact me. I will need your email address uh, that you're using for your uh, Apple ID and then I can send you a link and then uh, you can install it for 90 days and uh, give me feedback. So uh, if you're interested, just uh, drop me a line. And I've got one last problem that I have to solve before I can actually release it, um, which is uh, background audio on iOS, because iOS is very restrictive when it comes to uh, allowing apps to continue running in the background because of uh, audio being played. And um, I've uh, uh, done a lot of research in that uh, regard and uh, I thought I have solved everything. You have to set your audio session category correctly in iOS. You have to uh, put some information in the info plist file um, with some uh, capabilities uh, for the iOS. did everything and I got it working so that the uh, mute switch on the iPhone doesn't mute the, the, the music anymore. But as soon as I lock my iPhone, the music stops and that would be something uh, that would be really, really good if that would not be happening. So if there are any specialists for Unreal Engine in combination with iOS uh, devices and background modes, and if anybody could help me out why this is not working or if you've got any ideas, please let me know because this is the last thing that I've got to solve and then when um, this one is fixed I can finally re release this. So any help is welcome. Let's switch to another mode, don't know, let's see what we haven't got so far. Uh, this one's nice too. Okay, so I hope you guys uh, like it, give me some feedback on it, and as I said, if you want to te better test it, then uh, write me a direct message, and um, yeah, well, thanks for listening, and see you next time. Bye.